I placed top 15 in the most recent Warzone tournament qualifier, the Baka Brawl. And there were a lot of insane players in there, including ones who had placed in the World Series of Warzone and have won tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars in other Warzone tournaments. And because we perform so well, I think it's time that we finally release our AR tier meta list. Because the number one question that I get every single day is, hey Thin, what loadout are you using? Or hey Thin, what loadout should I be using? And so today we're gonna go through every single AR, LMG, and battle rifle so that you can pick your favorite build for your games. Our next video will cover all of the SMGs as well as shotties and pistols. So make sure to check that out and subscribe if you'd like to get notified for that. All right, S, Supreme, Superior, S tier, full meta. This is when you're, when money's on the line, you gotta use this S tier, this is full meta. A, it's not a 50-50, you're probably gonna win that fight. Even if someone has an A tier or an S tier gun, you're probably gonna have a pretty good chance. B is what we call 50-50 tier. That means it could go either way. Like if someone has a pretty good gun and you have a B tier gun, it's kind of a toss up. C, I, I wouldn't really pick C. C is more like, you know, you're just trying to have fun and try to screw around or whatever. And D, D is dog All right, Camara. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, like the Camara, Camara is probably like one of my favorite builds for Ashika Island. Um, I would classify Camara as an S tier weapon. Why? Because you can use this close range, you can use this medium range. It hits harder than pretty much any SMG. Actually, I think it hits harder than any SMG. It has one of the fastest time to kills. The only problem with it is you have a really slow bullet velocity. So any sort of medium range fight, you have to kind of lead your shot quite a bit. So that's kind of the only downside. I would personally uh, really love to use the Camara more and more often. I was probably one of the first ones that I know of that used the Camara like for weeks, if not month plus. And people always ask me, what is that gun? Definitely S tier. All right, let's pick something that we don't use like at all. All right, F Tech Recon. This thing's horrible. It's got a 10 round mag. No, bad. Okay, never. Next is RPK. So the RPK, they kind of nerfed this quite a bit. They nerfed this like two, three, maybe even four times. They've done a lot with it. I'd probably say it's B tier now, but like in, in a right player's hands, it'd probably be A tier. I'd say this is going to be like for the average gamer. For the average gamer, I think this is like B tier. It's kind of a 50-50 weapon. You got a nice sized mag. There is a lot more recoil now. The damage isn't that great. Uh, it's pretty easy to use. Great beginner weapon, but you're not going to like, you know, do any sort of like world records with this at all. So that's kind of how I feel about that. The STB556. I'm going to put the STB over here at C. It doesn't have a really good range. And of course, the 42 round mag. So... Personally, I wouldn't really do that. The AK-47 also knows the Kavstov 762. Why is it 762? Because it fires a 762 by 39 round. They nerfed this. I think it used to be S tier, but personally right now, I think for a she could be A, but for Mazra, it'd be a B. I'm going to put this in A. I actually don't think it's that bad. You really need to have a sight on it. Uh, you have a 40 round mag. It reloads really quickly. Uh, it's really easy to use once you have all the attachments. I think it's pretty solid. M16. All right, the original M16A4. This is this is absolute dog. I don't know of any burst weapon that's good in this game right now. I thought for like half a second, and I, I, I like there's there's just nothing. Not the raw. This is that new Sig heavy, super heavy machine gun. Now this definitely used to be meta. Like everyone was using this for the longest time. And then they nerfed it. I think they nerfed it even twice. The reload speed is really slow. It's really slow to use. If I give this to a really good player, they're going to dominate with this. But for most players, I don't know if they're going to do that well. We're going to leave it at B and I, I might change this, okay? There's no rules that say I can't change it. I don't really see other people using the raw right now. I used to be everyone, but right now I don't see anyone using the raw. I've, I've been attacked by a raw maybe about once a day, and then I usually win that fight. I don't see too many people using the M4 right now for whatever reason. Personally, I think the M4 is an A tier gun. Like I think like I could use it really easily, and I know that if I gave my loadout to somebody, I think they could have a really good time with it. The only issue with the M4, the reason why it's not really S tier is it's damage at, damage at range isn't that good. And the other problem with it is it's kind of like you, you run out of ammo really, really quickly. But if you're fighting like duos or trio, you're, you're going to be fine. Quads, quads, it's going to kind of struggle. If, if it was quads, I'd probably put it down to a B. But this is for like most scenarios, both big map, small map. I think I think it's an A tier gun. Let's do the M13 next. Okay, the M13 used to be, in my opinion, for a Shiki, M13 used to be like ridiculously good. And then they nerfed it. M13 is a B. Personally... You know, like if, if you're bored with like the M4, I think, you know, you could probably have fun with it, but I definitely think the M4 is better than the M13. That's that's kind of where I am at with that. 
All right, let's go with the Sokken. Okay, the Sokken, they nerfed because it was really good. But again, it's got, it's kind of like the Rawl where it's got really slow reload speed. It does have a hundred round mag. I might've played like one or two games and I just, I didn't like it, but I know a lot of people like it. Personally, I would put it B. AK-74, this is a 545 AK. I don't think it's quite D tier, but I'm, I'm gonna put it at C tier. I don't ever like using this at all and the other thing is like the mag size isn't like amazing so this is the aks 74 this is shorty uh ak 74 um i'm gonna put that c tier all right next one lockman 556 i don't like this i don't think it's quite d tier because it's definitely better than any of these two but nope i don't want it the hcr ah I don't see anyone using this. Everyone thought that the HCR was going to be the new meta after the RPK got its nerf. I think it's, I think it's a C. Lockman 762. This thing I don't like. The only thing keeping it from a D tier is its mag size. You have 20 rounds. If it only had a 10 round mag, it would be, it would be in D tier. Before I get to the rest of the loadouts, I'd love to show you how you can game with me on the weekends. Every weekend we play with private internet access subscribers. And I'd like to thank them for being a massive partner of this channel. PIA is ranked the fastest VPN in the world by PC Magazine and has great reviews on Wired, Forbes, and many more. PIA is a VPN that is focused on three things, privacy, security, and freedom. When you browse the internet, and it doesn't matter if you're on your phone, PC, laptop, etc., your internet service provider is literally tracking all of that data and selling it to advertisers. This is why you and I get all those crazy ads. PIA bypasses all of that with end-to-end -end military grade encryption, and they even have their own custom ad blocker. Additionally, your work or school does the exact same thing tracking all of your internet activity. And this is why many of them have internet filters. And finally, if you like watching shows or movies, you can't see all of them because of the geo restrictions in place. For example, if I wanted to watch Big Bang Theory here in the US on Netflix, I can't. But if I change my location on PIA to the UK or the EU, I can watch it just fine on Netflix. Using my discount code, you guys get 80% off and a few months free, and you get a game with me on the weekends. So go check it out at PAAVPN.com slash thin, and let's get back to the rest of the loadout. Okay, Hemlock. I use this to get top 15 for North America for Ashika Island. We were playing against some of our friends who have won actual tens, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars, and we placed either with them or really close to them or better than them what well, doesn't really matter because they're all our homies we all didn't really qualify so who cares it's still meta it's a really really cool build uh, i think this is based off of the bnt apc i think a lot of people really wanted the acr and this is what they got they're probably gonna nerf it as soon as they nerf it's gonna be a tier the reason for it is because the 45 round mag is very limiting scar light also known as the tac 556 this is scar l the reason why i didn't really use this was because even though it had a 60 round mag it doesn't have enough damage at range. And I also felt like it wobbled too much. So on console, it was like, it was okay. But like, I think that there's a lot of better stuff out there. I'm going to put it in A. If you are a beginner though, this is a really great beginner gun. On the other hand, this used to be an absolute S tier, but they nerfed it like twice. And so this is the heavy scar. And so the heavy scar, because of all of its nerfs, it almost is a B because it used to not be that great, but I've seen what it can do. And when I've used it, I've always had so much fun with it. See, like there's like a component here whenever I play video games, like I need to have fun. Like, sure, does it down them? That's great. Like, for example, like double pistols. Is it that fun to use double pistols if everyone's using it? Not really, because everyone's just getting down. Like you can down someone, but conversely, this is a lot of fun. I think this is an A. Now, SO14, I'm going to raise a lot of heads with this one. SO14 is meta. I've used this now for probably four or five days in a row now. I have dropped so many ridiculous plays with this build. I am scared to give out this build just because of how dangerous it is. I've gotten more head turns. Uh, he's cheating comments, uh, angry DMs, you know, saying that I am a horrible cheater and that I need to stop and compared to any other gun here. This you can add up every single loadout here. This gun, it has more than all these combined. I, I tried so many different builds and I just found one and I am just enjoying it personally. I've enjoyed it for five days. The, the flip side of this though, even though it is S tier, you need to have really good controller where you can adjust your, your trigger. It's like on an Elite V2 controller, you can set your, your trigger range, kind of like a hair trigger. I could fire this not quite as fast as a mouse, but I'd say about 95%, I think, you know, or any equivalent, right? You know, there's like aim controllers and stuff out there, you know, scuffs. I think you could get pretty close. You would probably have a really good time. I had one of my best clutches ever with this. Uh, this is going to stay near and dear to me. I hope they don't nerf it. 
It is a very high skill gap weapon. If you're not that great of a player and you use this, you probably will not win your fight. It is that difficult to use, but in a good player's hands, I am terrified. I do not want to go against someone who has this and knows how to use it. Icarus, Icarus. No recoil, no damage. You can maybe get like one E limb and then you got to reload it. Maybe two. I think it's a C tier. Last but not least, the Rap H. I'm going to put the Rap H at a B. Only for a Sheikah Island. I've used it before. You can build it to have very little recoil. The only problem is the reload speed takes forever. But this thing deletes people. I, I think it's decent. Not much more than that. Personally, I'm kind of like... I'm kind of sad because nine of your medium and long range weapons are never, pretty much never being used. These are like never getting picked. About 40% of the guns in the game no one's really using i think that there could be a little bit more diversity as far as the meta goes if you're struggling definitely pick anything in the s tier again this is mostly for ashika for big map you're probably going to need to use the hemlock that's kind of only one you really have so 14 is okay at big map i was kind of using it not really insane but ashika this is like unstoppable let me know down in the comments what you guys you know experience enjoy all the loadouts we're gonna make another video we're gonna put like smgs shoddies pistols and double pistols so stay tuned for that